Now, I am sure everyone here can wax poetic about some onerous task that plagues them. As journalists, you must know that when newspapers first appeared, they were handwritten. Page by page, line by line, diligent writers would scratch ink onto paper. The supply of skilled hands could never meet demand. But what about now, hmm? All a journalist need do is pen one page. And the printing press will be your draft horse, outputting finished product in perpetuity. You can simply lean back and sip coffee, watching gratefully as automated work is done for you. How has that been made possible? Why, through the amazing power of steam. The steam engine has revolutionized every industry under the sun. Its invention has allowed humanity to make a historical step forward. But history never stops, and neither will progress. Thanks to our newest product, the Neo Steam Engine. Uh, Mr. Rock, can you give us details? This steam engine utilizes an entirely new manufacturing process to simplify production. This has made it possible for us to mass produce these devices for widespread use. So with that, I would like to make an official announcement. The Neo Steam Engine is now for sale to an exclusive market of world governments and wealthy and aristocratic families. The steam engine has revolutionized industry. It has created massive quantities of untold wealth. Ponder this truth. The more steam engines you own, the more wealth you will amass. With this, our world civilizations will surely advance by leaps and bounds. And it's all thanks to us, The Rock Company. Hold your horses. <laughs> Particio. What are you doing here? This is no place for your tomfoolery. Now, now, Mr. Rock, I hope you hadn't forgotten our deal. I've come to make a purchase. My hard-earned money for the rights to your steam engine. What's this? This strange man says he's buying the steam engine? Who is that man? Does anyone know? I'm Particio Yellowwill. That's the name of the man who's gonna change the world. Remember it. <clears throat> Come on, Mr. Rock. We had a contract. An agreement. <laughs> Does that mean you've acquired all the requisite money, Particio? You bet I did. I said I would, and I always keep my word. This here is a promissory note worth exactly 80 billion leaves, issued by the noble Alrond himself. The Alrond? Mr. Particio, let us see that. <laughs> now, now, no pushing. Easy there, friends. Well, Mr. Rock, this is the genuine article, complete with Alron's signature. <laughs> You're still so naive, Patricio. Huh? 
Here's a piece of advice from someone who's made more deals than there are stars in the sky. Never put your faith in anything except yourself and hard currency. How do you propose to prove that signature is genuine? Even if you could prove it, what guarantee do you have that said Alrond will even issue the money? From my experience, I can assure you, you hold nothing but empty promises in your hands. In short, I cannot accept this. In fact, I cannot and will not accept anything but tangible currency. Huh. So that's your ploy. Come back when you've got the funds in hand, Partitio. Of course, by that time, you won't have any right to purchase anything from me. Huh. Darn you, Mr. Rock. You never had any intention of... That's enough. Rock Brilliant, I'd like a word. Uh, I know that voice. Hello there, Particio. How's business? I, the great Alrond, have come here to bear witness to the deal of the century. I've brought a little something with me as well. <laughs> Sir, please try to maintain at least some semblance of dignity. Sorry, no can do, Misha. Alrond! Did he say Alrond? Can that really be him? Explain yourself. I did not invite you to this gathering. My deepest apologies for the intrusion, my good fellow. I anticipated your apprehension to finalizing a deal involving such colossal sums. So, in an effort to prove the sincerity of my good friend Particio's offer, I brought the payment in full. Huh. Oh. Wait a minute! Eighty billion leaves in a few sacks? Impossible! Of course, these alone couldn't hold that tidy of a sum. You'll find the rest in this ship's hold. It was such a heavy cargo, I feared my vessel would flounder on the waves. Alrond. I, too, have met many sorts of people in my life. That experience gives me confidence in this declaration. Eighty billion leaves is pocket change compared to Particio's worth. I swear this on the Rondwell family honor. I hereby entrust this fortune of 80 billion to the man you see here before you, Particio. Master Elrond, please, you're making a scene. Sorry, Misha, but that's what I'm here to do. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Elrond. I finally managed to shake him. I just hope Particio's doing what he came here for. Wait a second. That's Alrond. Did he actually bring all 80 billion? Of all the hell and impossible schemes, You expect me to believe you've brought such an unreasonable sum? You warned me, sir. Do you doubt the honor of the Rondwell family? This is wild! I can't believe what I'm seeing! This story will sell loads for sure. 
We've got a contract and a whole crowd of witnesses. You don't have a foot left to stand on. <sighs> Time to make good on our deal, Mr. Rock. And that's that. I've purchased the rights to your steam engine, fair and square. Incredible. Ridiculous. <laughs> what a load of ridiculous, spurious, asinine drivel. Eighty billion leaves? A pittance! This steam engine will change the world. It's priceless. It has the power to mass-produce commodities and transport them in bulk to every quarter of the globe. Do you realize just how momentous an effect that will have on the global economy, on, on history itself? But even that is only a fraction of its power. It can be turned to military uses, transforming the weak into the strong in the blink of an eye. The steam engine will metamorphose the very shape of warfare. I cannot sanction this deal. This transaction is null and void. Null and void? A contract you signed with your own hands? Mr. Rock, isn't that a breach of your sacred trust? This ceremony is over. I have no more comments. None. Explain yourself, Mr. Rock. Silence! Silence, you blathering buffoons! I demand silence! This victory is yours, Particio. Oh. Mr. Rock. He'd locked the door. Hmm? What's that sound? Run! Get away from here! <sighs> that was close. What in tarnation's that? Here's a story for all you little buzzing flies. Behold, the pinnacle of the Rock Company's technological wizardry. Steam Tank Obsidian. Though I've been forced to unveil it earlier than planned, I think the time is right for a little demonstration. Run! All of you! If you value your lives! Ori, what are you doing? Run! Get going! But I smell a scoop! Can't publish a headline if you're dead, Scrivener. Uh, you're right, Particio. Thank you for talking sense into me. Now, thank you for all you've done for me. Now, go on and write a good old story about this.
Mr. Rock, it's finally time for a heart to heart. <laughs> I was right about you all along. You're a first rate merchant. In every way except one. Hmm, yeah? And what's that? Things of value are not meant to be shared with the world. They're meant to be hoarded by those who deserve them. Only then can their true value be achieved. You know what, Mr. Rock? I still admire you. Only a man like you can make something as wild as this steam tank here. Nevertheless, I still can't find it in me to agree. So let's settle things once and for all. I'll make you honor our contract like any good merchant would. I agree. Let's settle this dispute. Fight me, Morticio. I swear I'll pummel capitalist common sense through your thick skull once and for all. <laughs> I'm getting all fired up. Here goes. I'm investing in you. I owe you. Yeah, this wasn't yeah, in my ideals. <clears throat> Let me look at you. Repent. Alfred, the flame breaker. I need you. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> Be here. <laughs> Not well. <laughs> Calculations can Hold your horses. Don't underestimate me. Ain't this just a too kind, Articio. Here I go. Ah. Time for your medicine. Thank you, Ken. <sighs> ah. Let's have a look. Getting warmed up. <laughs> Elfric the flame bringer. Thinking time. <laughs> Calculations complete. What to do? Time for your medicine. Sorry about that. Where was I? Huh? I won't back down. Let's have a look. What to do? What to do? No mercy. Only pain. A pinch of this. Very well. I won't back down. Let's have a look.
thinking time. Calculations complete. Pierce the things of frost. I need a helping hand. Reduce them to ashes. Leave the rest to me, Timonos. My turn. A pinch of this. Bring it on. My turn. Time for your medicine. Back on my feet. No. Calculations complete. Oh, split What to do? What to do? What to do? I won't back down. Reduce them to ash. Whoa, time out. This, Mr. Rock. <laughs> Let's get to work. Pierce them. Frost. Hold it together. Time for your medicine. Delegate task. Strike them down. <sighs> Repent. Listen. Very fast. Hold your horses. <laughs> and this just I owe you. <sighs> Time for your medicine.
What to do? What to do? These hands! A pinch of this? Stella I need a play. Feel my wrath! Impart your wisdom, Alephax! Very well. A toad! Repent! That for you. Thinking time. Take this. Bring it on. This one's on. What? No money. Only pain. Where was I? Ah! The thunder roars to me. My turn. Poison slash. To work. Hmm. In pursuit of knowledge, strike them down. Bring it up. Do this, Mr. Rock. My turn. Time for your medicine. Stellar work, Casty. I do not regret for an instant any of the decisions I have made. Except for one. That's you, Particio. You were too dangerous of a foe. I should have squashed you when I had the chance. Back when you were withering away with that disgusting little town. Huh. I'm grateful to you, Mr. Rock. Thanks to you, I experienced abject poverty beyond anything I could have imagined. That's what helped me realize the truth. That things of value, well, they deserve to be shared. I don't yet know just how much of a difference I can make, but I plan to do all I can to share the wealth and help make the world a happier place. That's what being a merchant means to me. You simple, naive, ignorant, foolish, unsophisticated, gullible churl. The dreams of fool's errand, Particio. Sell off those useless ideals. Learn from history. No matter the time, place, or era, it is always the wealthy, the powerful, the deserving that define the course of history. To work. <laughs> I'll turn you twice. Here I go. Time for your medicine. Many. Now then. Feel my wrath. Pierce them. Pierce the frost. Nice one, Mr. Oswald. Let's get to work. Well now. Time for your medicine. Sorry about that. Thinking time. Calculations complete. And 
done. To work. Flames burn bright. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Low, rigid wing. <laughs> Let's get to work. Time for your medicine. What to do? What to do? No mercy, only pain. I need a helping hand. Here I go. I need a plan. Take this. I'm just getting warmed up. Let's do this, Mr. Rock. Where was I? You're welcome. Now then, take this. What to do? What to do? Poison slap. Very well. I won't back down. That's how it's done. Fighting is not what I do. You're finished, Mr. Rock. <sighs> this is the first time something's ever slipped through my fingers. It was one measly pocket watch that changed my life, you know. I saw it glittering in a shop window one day, and I knew I wanted it more than anything in the world. I spent endless hours working as a boot black, my hands stained with polish before I finally could afford it. At the moment it was mine, a deep dissatisfaction sprang to life within me. For a new trinket had caught my eye. So I went back to work. I struggled and I acquired. Over and over again I did this. Until one day... I no longer cared how I came by the objects of my desire. By the time I realized I only cared about myself and money, it was too late to turn back. Huh, Mr. Rock. What'd you want so bad that you'd do such vile things to get it? Huh. I don't even remember anymore. Besides, that's all in the past now. My time has come and gone. The future belongs to you now, Particio. Share your values of sharing value with all. Lead the merchants of this world down a new path. This place is about to collapse. Go, Patricio. Leave me. 
I wish to remain and watch it all crumble away. Goodbye, Patricio. I see. I think you're misunderstanding me again, Mr. Rock. Huh? Now, you're talking big about me leading people and sharing values and whatnot. But that's not how this story goes. Every merchant's got their own ideals and walks their own roads. Of course, not everything's all rainbows and roses. Sometimes people stumble. My goals only to help them get back up when they fall. Hmm. Well, time to hit that dusty trail again. Uh, by the by, Mr. Rock, seeing this contraption of yours gave me an idea. After you rest a spell, how about joining me on a new business venture? You never change, do you? I've never met a merchant like you. Pap, I've finished most of the measurements. That's so. Good work. Hmm. What do you think about it coming through here? Hmm. This valley is a detour, and will cut down on speed to boot. Optimal efficiency would be achieved by having the tracks travel straight as an arrow through town. Now, that's an urban area. I think the residents will take issue with that. Then we pay them to move. That 80 billion I'm investing in this venture should be used for something. Some things can't be bought, Rock. Those are people's homes. They got memories there. Mm -hmm. Convincing them is your job. You're the one who's deft at tugging people's heartstrings. From a logical perspective, this is win-win. The tracks will raise property values and bring in business. Everyone should benefit from this in the long run. Everyone, huh? <laughs> we stood here just like this once, 16 years ago. Remember? Our eyes were shining bright with hope for that silver mine, and we worked like busy little bees. Yes, that's right. I've remembered something I had long thought forgotten. There is true value in toiling alongside equals, sweating and working for a common cause. Of course, the thing that really has me excited is this new business venture of ours. <laughs> the times, they are a change, huh? Rock, uh, Mr. President, sir. <laughs> None of that, Thurston. I'm not your employer anymore. Just a simple consultant. Ah, right. <laughs> My apologies. Come now, let's start off on a new foot. We're colleagues after all. Excuse me, sir. A letter from Particio, sir. Hey, Pops. Sorry, but I can't come home just yet. We're still short on goods and people. 
and I need to rustle up a whole lot more of both. After all, our new venture is bigger than a Cetus Maximus. That rap scallion. If he's gonna send a letter, he could at least include some orders from on high. Now, now, I see no issue. It's a sign of his trust in us. Besides, I'm sure he's busy out there somewhere wrapping up another business deal. The president of Partitio and Rock is a busy man, after all. Particio and Rock. Under company president Particio, the heavy taxes on the steam engine's use were abolished. In their stead, the company employed the poorest segments of society. As for the products Rock Brilliant had once monopolized, they were distributed freely to people all around the world. Extra, extra, read all about it. <laughs> another day, another pile of overtime. Are you watching, brother? When I first met him, he handed me a silver coin. He spoke hopefully about a bright future, though I found it difficult at first to believe him. Nevertheless, even now, he's working tirelessly to see his dream fulfilled. An industrial revolution has come and is beginning to change the world. Hey there, son. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a long trip to get here. My shoes could use a polishing. How about it, for old time's sake? Sure, you got it. I, uh, read something in a paper I found. It said you're trying to save the world from poverty. <laughs> That's right. Things are going to change if I have my say. The steam locomotive's going to see to that. The local what? It's this big old hunk of iron that can speed all over the continent faster than a horse can gallop. Fella could see the world easy like if he was riding in one of them. Better yet, it'll help facilitate transport and cultural exchange. Everything will start growing closer. Wow, we. You know, I remember you saying you wanted to travel the world. Want a job that'll help make that dream come true? Yeah. You got yourself a deal, yellow guy. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. <laughs> 